Uh, the day was May 29th, uh, 2017. I was in Florida visiting her sister Latoya and um, I'm uh, supposed to be on a flight the following day. And we had gotten a call that morning that Shanice didn't return home. Um, we weren't notified that she didn't return home until the next day. And because I wasn't in the New York State, I had to have my oldest daughter uh, go report Shanice missing. Um, she had went out that night and just never returned home. And she didn't like to sleep in anybody. It was just very abnormal for her not to come home. At the time that she went missing, she was 31 years old, a very family-oriented young woman. Uh, she loved her family, caring, compassionate. She just en enjoyed life. She was the life of a party. Uh, I will describe it as an emotional roller coaster in the sense that um, in the beginning, the first year, I, I will say I, I, I haven't lost hope, but I had, I would say, more hope of finding her in a better position. As the years go by, it's been, it's been, beyond tough it's it's a it's a form of mental torment not knowing where your child is what they could be going through if they're in pain and suffering eating sleeping i mean i i think of everything it's i would never wish this on anybody i mean yeah she was 31 but she's my baby she's always going to be my baby so um it's it's been very 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 difficult if anybody knows anything, like anything, you, it could be the smallest thing that could be the actual tip that we need to put this together and find out where she is. There's, you don't have to do it in person. There's ways to uh, give, there's tip lines that you can do it anonymously. And Detective Morgan has been handling her case, so you could speak directly to him. And you don't have to leave your name.